Hey Magic fans, welcome to the latest Magic Play history episode on the career of Laterial Green. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can learn the story of every Magic player who ever suited up for the franchise. As a high school senior, Laterial Green averaged a whopping 39.7 points per game, playing for the Moss Point High School in Mississippi. He went on to play at the University of Georgia, where in his four-year career he became the UGA's all-time scoring leader. Green was drafted by the Chicago Bulls with the 39th pick in the 1992 NBA Draft but he didn't want to play there and he asked to be traded. The Magic needed cheap contracts after struggling to squeeze Shaquille O'Neal under the salary cap after drafting him with the first overall pick. In separate moves, the Magic traded away Sam Vincent and worked out a trade with Chicago to bring Green to Orlando. Green impressed in training camp and preseason, and he signed a non-guaranteed minimum contract, but he struggled to get minutes once the regular season started battling second-year guard Chris Corciani for the backup point guard minutes behind Scott Skiles. Green bonded with fellow rookie Shaquille O'Neal, as well as Dennis Scott, with the three of them forming a knuckleheads club. With Shaq dominating in the middle, the Magic needed to improve their outside shooting to punish teams for double-teaming him, something that neither Green nor Corciani provided. The Magic made a trade for marksman Steve Kerr, even though this move did not work out very well for Kerr or the Magic. See the recent episode we did on Steve Kerr for details. To bring in Kerr, the Magic needed to create a roster spot. It was reported that coach Matt Gukas preferred Corciani, but upper management saw potential in Green and liked that his contract was non-guaranteed. Corciani was waived, but Green had a hard time winning Gukas over. With Corciani waived, Green's minutes increased, and he averaged over 11 minutes of court time in December. He showed he could score quickly and get to the foul line, averaging 5.5 points per game over that span. Green stated that he thought he could become a very important piece of the puzzle here, and that he could produce in a big way if given the opportunity. The opportunities began to dry up though, as Skiles played the lion's share of minutes at point guard, with Green's minutes largely coming in blowouts, where it equaled his career high with 12 points in 20 minutes during a 17-point win over the Clippers in early March. In late March, Skiles separated his shoulder and missed four games. Green was given the starting point guard role, and in his first game against the Spurs, he played 42 minutes and equaled his career high of 12 points while adding eight assists. The Magic went 2-2 two two in Green's four starts, as he averaged eight points and five assists in 32 minutes. Once Skiles returned though, it was back to his limited role, as Skiles averaged over 47 minutes per game in the next three contests, while Green got off the bench for just one minute total. At the end of the season, Green was a restricted free agent, and initially stated he wouldn't report to training camp without a guaranteed contract. His agent made some waves, reportedly asking for a three-year, $1.5 million contract. Brian Hill replaced Matt Gukas as head coach, and Green played in the July rookie camp, but his chances to develop a bigger role with the Magic took a huge blow when the franchise traded for Anthony Hardaway during the 1993 NBA draft. Though Hardaway would start his career at shooting guard, it was always expected he would take up a lot of minutes in the backcourt. The Magic also brought in another point guard, Mike Isolino, into training camp, and suddenly Green was in a battle for the 12th and final roster spot. With Isolino seemingly willing to play for the minimum, in the end, Green signed a one-year deal with the Magic worth a reported $200,000. In his sophomore season, Green's guard minutes were few and far between behind Hardaway and Skiles, but he did score a career-high 16 points in just 12 minutes in his third game of the year. As Penny shifted to point guard, only twice more did Green play in more than 10 minutes in a game, and only twice more was he able to score in double figures throughout the season, scoring 10 points apiece against the Sonics in December and the Hawks in February. At the end of the season, the Magic drafted point guard Brooks Thompson, and they liked his ability to shoot and spread the floor. They decided not to make a qualifying offer to Green, making him an unrestricted free agent. Green played summer league with the Hornets, but he wound up playing for the Quad City Thunder in the CBA for two years before latching on with the Detroit Pistons. Twice, Green went to training camp with the Vancouver Grizzlies, and he finished his career with a stint in Milwaukee and a single game in Cleveland. An overseas career followed, with stops in Venezuela, Puerto Rico, Poland, and Slovenia before retiring in 2002. In Green's 81-game Orlando Magic career, he averaged 3.8 points and 1.5 assists per game. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check back soon for our next episode on the Magic career of Shaquille O'Neal.